Hey, what's going on, guys? You got Chef PV here. Uh, check it out. We have the tiny whoop that I have, my main whoop. Um, it's actually fully upgraded. It started its life as just a standard Industrix, I don't know, six months ago. Uh, it's got upgraded motors. Uh, the Eshin E101 frame because it's just the most durable frame out there. Uh, it's got a TPU mount for the FXT camera. Again, one of the original ones that first came out. But it has a B core in it now. So the Eshin B core is in there. I wanted to give you some tips and um, setup tricks and just you know how I have mine set up. Just because I've had some uh, questions ever since making the flash, uh, how to flash the firmware video. So the first question everybody asks is, how do I get it bound? Because they can't figure out the binding process. Um, the manual states all this stuff, but they also suggest that you use tweezers to touch the two pads right in front of that front screw pad, um, screw hole I mean. Uh, for me, it was too difficult, especially once it was installed with the screw to really get a good connection and I just couldn't get the thing in bind mode. So I just went ahead and I said screw it and I soldered a small wire across it. So once you do that, you just power it on and it goes into bind mode and you have your uh, Tyrannus, which this is a Tyrannus version. I'm not, I don't know any of the other versions how to bind, but I'm sure it's similar. The uh, Before you go ahead, um, you start the bind process on your radio as well in D8 mode and you'll get it bound up and all that and then you just take the pads and just desolder them after you unplug it obviously and um, it's bound so that's how I bound mine so that's the first thing uh, if you need to flash it with Betaflight it's SP3 racing I believe the Evo board is what you flash it with go check out my other video though I talk about it all the different ins and outs of that and then we just need to go in and take a look real quick at the actual setup. So we'll go into beta flight now. A couple of things you do have to do once in beta flight, and all this is actually in, again, your manual, is first of all, your motor positions are going to be different than they were in your original Tiny Whoop and the prop placement because it's now going to spin just like a standard beta flight motor. Um, so you got that to so make sure you get your, your motors in position the right way and all that. Uh, make sure that you go to brushed mode on the ESCs. And then you'll need to go into CLI command and you will type in set motor P. Here you go. Set motor underscore PWM underscore rate equals 1000. So we'll go do that. So there you go. Now save, and that sends you back over here. Make sure again that you go into um, your ESC type. You're going to do brushed. Don't worry about all your other throttle settings and all that. It's a serial RX, and you'll need to... I ran mine at 8, eight kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, which gives me an 18% load, which is fine. And I do have the accelerometer on just so I can switch into the other modes. Um, on ports, your UART2 is your serial port. You'll make sure that that's set before going into configuration and setting your serial and S bus. If you don't set the port, save and reboot, and then do configuration, you're going to have to reset those anyways. So anytime you change port settings, it, it messes up the receiver mode. So after that, here's our PIDs. So I got these off of somebody, I don't know, in a group or somewhere. They work fine. Um, I will say my, I think it's the, the the pitch. I need to increase some, but I'll check that later. Um, softening up your uh, PIDs or your, your settings, your strength for the angle and horizon to 30 each is what I recommend. Uh, you can change the transition also, um, which is the kind of sh the, how fast it transitions it. Um, besides that, that's all I have set up there. Your receiver, you need to double check the receiver and all that. And one of the biggest things that you have got to do is go in your radio to your outputs. And this is something that mine were all very much different. So now I've got my radios. You'll see it's actually bound. That's why it's showing up. But what we're going to do is on your output screen, in order to make all of your outputs correct, which I actually have, you'll see 1498 on my yaw right now. We'll have to fix in a second. 
This is how you're going to do that. So on the output screens, and so we need to go to channel four. All right. And our midpoint needs to be, wait. Yeah, our midpoint needs to be adjusted. Wait, no, you see how when I flick it, there it goes, it's just barely off. So there we go. Everything now is 1500 when you just flick it and let it go. So that's how you set those. You need to adjust all of them though. I have a video on adjusting endpoints as well on Tyrannus, so I would definitely recommend that. So you definitely need to do that in order to get all of your uh, setup for your radio uh, endpoints and midpoints set correctly. Well, once you do that and you have everything else, then the only other real thing you got to do is your mode setup. So mode setup is here. I have my arm and I have it on auxiliary one, which is for me. And then I have angle mode and horizon on my uh, flight modes. And you could also go ahead and I have not figured this out. I don't know what the best solution is. I have air mode off right now, but you could put air mode on a switch. Um, I just haven't really played with that that much yet. So I, I just haven't gotten there. But as of right now, like this setup, the way that it is, you'll see that it will connect, it'll fly, and we are good to go. So well, the battery. There we go. So. We can fly. So there we go. All right. I hope I helped you guys out. Um, that's just how I have my B core set up. Um, I don't know. If you have any other questions, try to hit me up. But fly safe, fly smart. Just fly, guys. Peace.